Yo, one of the most common questions I get asked is how do you get your lines to be so smooth? So today I'll show you how I got comfortable using the pencil tool by creating portraits like this. I spent years doing portraits of musicians, portraits of dogs, portraits of families, and this is actually the first way I started seeing a little bit of profit coming from my illustration career. So I'll show you my technique for drawing a portrait in this style along with a couple tricks to get your pencil settings just right. Alright, so opening up Illustrator, the first thing you need to do is drag in your photo reference. Today I'm going to be using this Mac Miller photo. It's one of my favorite photos that I've done a portrait of, so I'll just be recreating that one today. What I like to do is put this on one layer and lock it and then create a new layer on top that we can draw on. One of the most important steps is getting your pencil tool settings correct. So you're going to double click on the pencil tool and this window pops up that'll let you adjust the fidelity aka the, the smoothness of your lines. So I usually go right here at the second highest level. Alright so now we're ready to jump into the portrait and I always do the eyes first so what I like to do is get real zoomed in and start off with the darks of the eyes so the pupils and we just draw a little circle around this shape what you need to do is hit the slash key and that will get rid of the fill hit I so you can get the eyedropper and then you can select the color inside of that shape so then we'll hit N again so we get our pencil tool back and I will draw this little highlight right here and again we'll hit slash I select that color and then what we do now is Command shift left bracket and that will send it to back. So now that shape is behind this shape. In order to deselect this shape, hold command and you can click off and that'll deselect the shape. So then we're gonna just draw this lighter portion of the eye here. Slash eye. Sometimes you'll get um, a bit of a variety of colors within that shape if it's a little bit pixelated like this. So just grab a color that feels like the average of the colors within this shape. So right about there looks good to me. And I'll send that to the back. Click off and then it looks like we'll just do this full black dark color here. Like that. You'll notice I stop right here because I want this to be a sharp turn instead of a curved turn. So I stop drawing and then pick it back up like that and then send that to back hit slash I and then grab that color all right and now let's do this white part right here send that to back and what I really like about doing these portraits is it helps you to identify the shapes of the character that's really what my characters are, are just shapes and colors. So I think since I've done thousands of these portraits, it's kind of helped me to figure out identifying the shapes and it really helps you to break down a character into smaller sections and it makes the overall process of making a character a lot easier. So next I'll just do this little highlight here above his eye. I like to get a decent amount of detail in the eyes and then as I get out away from the eyes I tend to do a little bit less detail. Alright so I'll do the eyebrows next. So now we have one eyeball done. What you can do is hide this bottom layer and kind of check out what you've done so far. See if it looks good to you. And yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So I'll let you guys follow along with me the rest of the way. I'm not going to talk as I'm doing this full drawing, but you can follow along and I'll check back in with you guys once I'm towards the end of the drawing.
up the portrait you can hide your reference layer and what I like to do is create a new layer in between the reference layer and the design and just create a little background so make it a square like that and what I usually do is kind of use a use a color from the face so you kind of just click around and see which one you think looks the best and I think I like that one the best usually one of the lighter colors in the face so as you see this style of portrait is great if you're trying to master using the pencil tool i did this entire design just using my mouse i didn't use a tablet or anything so as long as you get your settings right take your time drawing your lines you'll be comfortable using the pencil tool in no time and what's fun about this style is you can practice using literally any reference photo so just have some fun with it leave a comment below if you enjoyed this hit subscribe and like and i will see you guys next time peace